school. And back in the day at Glasgow High School, you had black, white, Hispanic, every kind of kid. And I'm a civil rights guy. So for me, it was a blessing to see the broad range of students getting along with each other. And now that all them younger kids are now older, the new movement of young folks not caring about a lot of this foolishness is going to make the difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to I want to shout out three people: George Floyd, yeah, yeah. and then I'm gonna reach in the crates. Elbert Butler was shot on the east side yeah. by Wilmington police. This ain't nothing new. Jeremy McDowell was shot here in Wilmington, Delaware. So those three people, we got to remember them. It has to be an agenda. As he said, you got to have an agenda. Right? But you also got to show up when it's time to fight. So here's some of the issues just in the last year. Listen, 10 out of 13 members of Wilmington City Council are black. So if black people are suffering in Wilmington, Delaware, it's because you got black elected officials selling you the heck out. Yes, yes. And what I want the white people here to understand is that your parents keep telling you to vote for sellout Negroes. Right. And you gotta start yeah, telling right. your parents we're not participating in putting sellout exactly. niggas at all. Exactly. Okay. So pay attention, cause it's a battle. It's a battle with young and old in the black community yes. Yes. and in the white community. The new way gotta come in. Here's some of the issues that I that I've been involved in putting on the table, and the sellouts have not kept up with. Bump stocks, body worn cameras, police yes. manual, yes, diversity with the police department, yes, filing complaints Where? with the Department oh, of Justice and do. FBI. So there's an agenda yes. that myself and others work on, and you all want to learn how to help push those agendas forward. Yes. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, listen, brother. We have listened. Listen. We've listened respectfully to everybody's point of view. Whether we agree with it or not, the key has made it possible for every one of us. So let's begin by respecting the people that are here. Thank you. One another. Now, every position is valid. But let me tell you something. Fuck the system means we're saying the system is rigged. And when you start turning on one another, you help the system. So yes, yes. What we gotta do is get the message that we don't want another bill, we don't want another vote. We want the whole system thrown out and start with something new. Now, I'm not going to another country. I'm too old for that crap. I want yes. my rights right here in yes. America. Yes. 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 McKeep Booker yes. has brought us here. Don't get it fucked up. McKeep Booker has we brought us here. And we're together. We don't for man. If, one, if any we one of us would have did this, work. we would have done it. We don't want any so work. let's hear this brother. Let's get it and right. let's get ready let's to get rumble. Time. Yeah. Say this, outrage. outrage. No, say it louder, outrage. Outrage. Because it's outrageous. Outrage. Outrage. Because it's outrageous. Fuck the police! 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 Fuck the government as a whole! Listen, right. 
Yeah. It ain't just fuck the cops, it's fuck the government as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Hold this for me, OG, please. You got a real live police brutality victim in front of you right now. I got an active case right now. I had a 30% chance to walk again. You know what I'm telling you? I looked at cop in his face telling him I'm a Spartan. You know who you're talking to? I'm gonna walk again. My mom said certain them doctors don't know what they talk about. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about to the point my foot, everything came off. I was paralyzed. I had to learn how to walk again. You feel me? My whole leg, I got pins and all that on my left side. They tell me I might never walk again. I ain't do nothing. I sat in jail 16 months. I was over gander as an innocent man. You hear what I'm telling you? My mom couldn't find me for eight weeks. I was in Christian hospital. They told me I wasn't there. My family was looking for me. You know how my mom feel? Well, yeah, don't just think about these kids that's out here dying, yo. Think about their mom. Think about their kids. I got sons. My sons couldn't find me. You feel me? My kids don't got no mom. They mom dead. They couldn't find his dad. I was on my Come some cops. You feel what I'm saying? This hit home personally. These kids out here in trouble out there. We're going to take action for y'all family. There's women out here that got kids. These women out here, look at them, yo. They got kids. Y'all moms, think about all the fellas out here. Think about y'all moms. Y'all got moms and grandmoms and all that. You feel what I'm saying? I wake up every day and think about this. I got post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, all that for these cops. They talk about they come from growing up in the projects. No, this is y'all. This is from the government. You feel what I'm saying? We got to take action, man. I'm just glad that all y'all here. I appreciate y'all being here. Every other day. We gotta take action, man. We gotta take action. All right, Q. Right now, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. We all out here are angry. We all have points of view. And my way of thinking is, I wanted to hear from everybody. I'm gonna hear from everybody. This, but this, we must get together and change shit. the policies. Yes. Fighting and burning down buildings is not going to get it. We got to burn down your policies. Yes, the yes. Policies are set up for mass incarceration, for knees in the neck. We got to change those policies. So you do have to vote. You do have to say something. We gotta overthrow this fucking government. And we gotta overthrow this fucking government.
Hot outside.